All right, everybody, we're back with more decks. We're in the unknown location. Um, we've just learned that this is a facility for cloning people or about cloning people. And um, we read a bunch of notebooks. And that was about it. Um, oh, I'm not dealing with you right now. I can hack these people. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't tried taking down these clones yet, but we'll see. Hold on. I'm just going to go over here, grab this one. Then I can just fisticuff this one. Those ones with the stun guns are just the, they're the most miserable. But, uh, we'll, we'll see. Neat. Done. Okay. Red ones have stun guns. Isolation chamber. That doesn't sound great. Hold on. Before we go in there, I'm jumping down here. Oh, okay. Fine then. How did that happen? Did you guys see that? I just like force choked that person. Um, Alright, so should we go into the isolation chamber first? Or let's go this way because this seems less final and slightly less scary. Yeah, this is... Where is this? Okay, this is just somewhere. Um, Ben, why don't you not be stupid? Alright, there we go. Maybe this is a scarier place to go. Oh, I can go up there? Okay. That's interesting. Maybe I should go back to the isolation chamber. We'll see. We're, the best part about this game, or one of the good parts about this game, is that the uh, screen transitions are all named, so we don't have to worry about, like, going somewhere and accidentally finishing the game. Maybe. Um, we'll see. Yeah, this is good. Just some shotgun ammo that we don't really need because we sold our shotgun because it was a pile of poopy. Um, some more money that we probably can't spend in here. This looks like an exit. By far, it looks like an exit. We're not going up there. We're going back. We're going into the isolation chamber first. Just because I really don't want to accidentally, like, stroll out of this facility. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. What? Hello, Dex. Finally, we meet. I hope you'll forgive me for not getting up and shaking your hand. Alas, behold the mighty Raycast. This is you? Dare I say, in the flesh. Or, as they know me here, Subject Zero. Why did you set me up? Why did you bring me here? Some truths cannot be told. They must be faced. You had to see them. See me with your own eyes. And I knew, too, that they would not want you dead. Okay. Not before your intervention at Redwood Watts, and certainly not after. <sighs> they would bring you here, to me. Decker died because of you, and I liked Decker a lot better than Blobby McBlobberton. I did warn you to come alone. I apologize for not anticipating Decker's loyalty to you. I regret his loss, and yours. So, are all these clones I'm strangling me? Consciousness circles about the self. Your mistake is a natural one. These clones were not created in your image, Dex. You and I are simply one of them, one of hundreds, all created in the image of one other, the mastermind behind all of this, the head of the complex, a woman they call the Crow. So I'm a clone too. I mean, that's not a hard swallow. Look at the others here, Dex. 
It's no struggle to comprehend, just a struggle to accept. Okay. You were created here. You are an artificial. Your mind was infused with Kether's seed, just like us all. You're an avatar of Kether, just like us all. So all of our, our robot brains have the AI in it. Okay. Let me help you, believe me. Dex, you went to a party with other children when you were five. In the swimming pool, you upset a boy after pushing him off an inflatable toy. He hit you. You hit him harder. He left the toy to you. I see that memory implanted every day, Dex, or variations of it. An array of narratives for an array of affectations. Socialization, personality shaping. That one for self-protection instincts. I'm sorry, Dex, but what you believe is your childhood. It never really happened to you. Wow, that's a little screwy. Um, you hmm. must. But who is this crow woman? Alas, we cross the fence of knowledge into the mists of speculation. The only certainty I possess is that the crow is evil. Okay. Ruling an organizational network as insidious as the complex, permitting this domination, control, power. Vileness such as this always stems from the vileness of one. The crow is real. The crow is living. But who she is or where, I cannot say. Okay. For the moment, I cannot say. Then why is the complex doing all of this? For as long as humankind could choose to connect to cyberspace, it could also choose not to. This choice meant freedom. And it meant that Kether could only ever observe humankind, never fully control it. And yet, if the complex create humans who are forever connected, we clones, at least those of us like you who can live among humans, breed with them. We are humanity's next step. But when the complex control Kether, it will be a step into chains. Okay, so their plan is to basically cross-pollinate humanity into like into always connected human brains like biological computer brains so that then they can use this ai that controls the whole internet to control all of humanity too got it, it. does dex they still need the gsv2 and i fear your work our work to sabotage the system has only delayed what must surely one day still happen when the complex activate gsv2 they will control kether just as they always plan to do not only will they see everything, they will have the means to control every clone. Right. And in the dawn of the post-human, that means every one. Right, that's us two. Got it. That I can understand. If you have more questions, ask, but we are running short of time. Once they find you have escaped... Well, Kay, how did you end up here like this? There is no end distinct from my beginning. I was created here, just like you but created when their techniques were crude. You are an incarnation of their successes, I of their failures. My generation never left these halls, and I alone was kept alive within them to be probed, injected, vivisected. I could never tell them how much I felt during the operations. Risk losing what I cannot lose. My freedom. While many others died, I was kept alive. My neurochemical activity was a source of curiosity. A subject for tests. A live benchmark, if you will. I do not know who was the luckier. Myself or my siblings whom they let die. So you've never left this room? Oh, but I have traveled everywhere. When only your mind is free to wander, you find every freedom you can. My brain was connected to cyberspace the instant I was born. That is my only world, my only real world. Well, what's your plan now? How do I get out of here? We need to put an end to all of this, Dex. This research cannot be allowed to continue. Too much wrong, too much power. These abominations cannot be allowed to live. First you tell me that I am a we, and then you tell me that I should kill them. Dex, 
We are built to be controlled. We may feel like we are human, but even that sense is implanted. Our very consciousness is artificial. I've made choices. Is it so hard to imagine that when Kether falls to the complex, you will continue to think that way, even as you continue to be controlled? Dex, there are no choices in the future they are creating. Our very existence is a danger to humanity. That's rough. When Kether is taken, we will be too controllable, as will all our future generations. Now the clones you saw on your way here are not even conscious, not alive yet. They are still being manufactured. You would not be killing. You would be resisting. This is what needs to be done. You must access the mainframe and from there disable the clone's life support system. This will trigger an emergency state across the whole facility, unlocking the submarine pods and giving you your escape. It is right. You, I, and a handful of others will be all that remains of there. Research. Won't it also kill you? My life support functions are on an entirely different network. I shall continue. Okay, I guess I'll do my Good, best. Dex. You are doing what must be done. I'm not a huge now, fan of this. In order to reach the mainframe, you'll have to hack into the overseer's computer. A man called Hammond. I believe you've met him. You must make sure he does not escape. If we bring him to justice, Bring him and his work before the eyes of the world. Make him confess. Show everyone what he has been doing here. The complex will lose their grip on the world. Their mask of lies will at last fall. Hammond, he is the key to ending this sickness. Okay. Now, go back to the main elevator. I'll enable act. All right. <sighs> okay. So, back to the upper floors, find Hammond, beat the snot out of him, and or get him to confess. Um, the elevator's in that room. Ben, what are you doing? Is this thing coming down or what? Yeah, it is. Okay. event there all right um maybe this isn't the main elevator because it sure as heck doesn't seem very main i'm totally gonna jump over there I just really wanted to see where this goes. I don't think this is a real thing. Oh, good. I'm now just climbing to forever. Well, okay. At least my stupid climb was actually useful. What in the world is this? Oh. I'm going to hack you in midair and see what happens. I will bet you that the game does not like that. Nope, you just teleport to the ground. That's fine. The yellow ones seem to be like the best fighters. The red ones have ranged weapons. The blue ones are just kind of crappy. It is done. All right, so uh, what does this get me? Nothing. I can. I could have snuck by them. That would have been nice. Um, let's just. I don't know if this is the right way. We're just gonna keep going. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, the main elevator. Okay. So now I went. I was down. So let's go up more. Or no, I need to go down more. Right? Cause I came from above, didn't I? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. This is really kind of scary and a little bit gross. Like, there are some clones that are just not doing great. Like, look at that dude there that's just a, like a nervous system floating. I don't know. 
how I feel about that. All right, so that's not a way. This facility is really big. Let's see if this is a place I've already been. It does not seem so. Keep racing him. It'll be fine. Oh gosh. Please reconnect faster. Okay. I think that's all the security, so let's open the door. Hey! You cut that out. I'm gonna just ground and pound him like the original Resident Evil. Wait, what's still angry at me? Is there still a camera in here somewhere? I don't know, it's fine. Hey, reload your gun. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Um. cafeteria down here or something. Okay, so let's just go through these one by one, I guess. Hi. You. You're one of the clones. Hang on, you're not the one who blew up GSV2, are you? Very same. No prizes for getting guessing what I'm here to do now. Hmm. Haven't you been busy? Now, it might not seem like it with me here, working their labs, but trust me, we're on the same side. I'm... I'm not here by choice. If you're standing up to the complex, I can help you. And... Uh, I would ask you to help me. Um, what's up then? Introduction is in order. My name's Ian. As in Ellie's Ian? You know Ellie. Oh, of course you do. Your escapades at Redwood Watts. Is she all right? My jailers didn't grant my last request for footage. They said the video from her lab was corrupt. But when I heard of your intervention there, I feared the worst. She's all right. She's one of the worms that turned. I'm glad. How come they didn't kill you? Oh, trust me. For a long time, I wish they had. They wanted to silence me, but they needed... My work, instead of killing me, like so many others, they staged my death, made it that nobody would come looking for me. My family, they moved on. It was for the best. There was nothing else they could have done. <sighs> Hold on, they found your body. How did they fake that? Well, of course, they never told me. But there was a time when I thought about it a lot. I assume they just found someone else of a similar build. Mangled up the body and made it look like a gang attack. As long as they smashed the poor guy up enough, my wife wouldn't look twice at the body. I mean, Jessica was always so squeamish. What do they have you doing? I don't want to hear the rest I of that. I was one of the original researchers on the Kether program. That meant I have in-depth knowledge of its programming, its logic patterns, its inner workings. Naturally. Okay. Now, my job is to maintain the mainframe on which Kether is stored. That, and to supervise Kether's infusion into the clones created here. Okay, um, what do you have in mind? Oh, that's good. Thank you. The clones. Please, I want you to let them be. You see, specific dates for their harvest are decided and logged on the day they're born. But when they came for you, I guess they came for you. They planned that raid years ago. And since your release, they would have kept tabs on you. Just enough to know where to find you when your day came. But you had a normal life before, right? Didn't you? Family? Love, maybe? You can even have children, did you know that? All clones can live perfectly normal lives. They are oblivious to where they came from. Or to what fate awaits them. 
I want them to escape their fate, just like you did. Please help me. I prepared years for this chance. Prepared how? Listen to my alternative. Uh, okay. I've been working on a program, a modification to the mainframe. It could rewrite all the data compiled about the clones, replace everything with fabricated data. Background, current location, planned harvest date, all changed. I could release them. They will be free, free to live their lives, free like everyone else. But the problem is they still have the AI inside them. It's a better fate than death, but I don't, I don't think that's what I want to do. What you need to do is this. Go to the mainframe, hack into it, and run my program in one of the core data nodes. The complex will never know what happened. Or at least not till it's too late. And the clones? They can disappear. I'll upload the program to you. If you manage to hack into the mainframe, install it there. Please. This is the right choice. I hope with every atom of my being that you make it. It's really, it's a hard sell because that doesn't change the problem. Like, I would love to set all the clones free. That would be amazing. The problem is that, like, if I do that, they're stall, still all infused with Kether. And if the complex ever, like, does get their act back together, and they will, then all of the clones will already have seeded the world with, with the AI latent brains and people can just do what they want then they won't they'll be able to still still be able to control everything and i'm actually wondering if i can go back and talk to ian and try to see like what he if he has an explanation because if he can explain to me that that's not going to happen i will take his side like hold on have you reached the main god damn it just not going to give me any more information i probably should have asked for it previous before i was going to do it but Oh, uh, that's a hard call. I'm gonna make the decision when I get there. I can't, I can't make it now. It doesn't, it doesn't help me at all. Um, but I can look at the quest log. I'm gonna talk to yeah, because if I can ca capture Hammond first, then I can make a decision on whether to pull the plug or just scramble the plug. You know. Shit. What just happened? Oh, everything is good. Okay. <laughs> that was lucky. Uh, save. Is, this seems a lot like the floor I was already at. Yeah, okay. So this isn't gonna be helpful. Yeah, because see, this is where I already was. So, all right, then let's just go up a bunch of times. Because we've explored, like, level three. And we explored whatever this level is. But see, the other thing is, if we do Raycast plan, we are killing all of these people that are in tubes. Like, that much is actually happening. But all of the, the clones that are in the field will just be left alone. So, like, isn't that what Ian wants anyway? It'll just not be killing these guys, too? I, I don't know. Maybe I can do both. I don't think I can do both. I think this is one of those big moral choice games. So, we'll have to see. And I already explored this floor pretty thoroughly, I believe. So let's go up to floor one. Try not to fall out of the elevator again. Man, it's a hard choice. Why? Why does it? Why does it have to matter? Why? It's too stressful. Let's go this way first. I saw there were bad guys over there, so...
Well, there's the mainframe. See, that's great, but that's not what we want yet. We want Hammond's office. So I might have to go back the other way. I know that's wasteful, but I hate running out of ammo in the middle of combat, and we're we're pretty much in the end game, where like I can be I can be lazy with my bullets. No. No. Okay. Okay, this place sucks already. Hold on. All right. Activate laser gun. No, stop doing that thing where you... Give me that. Oops. Nope. Stop this, please. There we go. Now I can... Oh, I just got... I literally got leveled. Let's try this again. I... <laughs> Alright, um... I went this way before, and I didn't really find... I found... I didn't really find much, but we'll do this at least. Come hit me. Come on. Come on. Deal damage. Deal damage. Are you kidding me right now? I know this does not make for good TV, but I'm just trying to get through these guys as relatively efficiently as possible. Um, what if I did some punch-ups? I want to knock this guy off this cliff. Come on. Oh, whatever. Okay. There we go. Didn't hurt him, but it made me feel better. <laughs> Right, main frame cleared. Oh, let's go back the other way. Did we like did we like attract these people from the middle or something? Yeah. It looks like it. Black. Gosh darn it. Okay, just punch me. Okay. Whew, another level. I really like that this laser gun looks almost exactly like the, like the, pla is it the pulse gun or the plasma cutter from, it's something, from, uh, Dead Space. It had, like, that, that end that turned sideways or horizontally, depending on what you wanted to do. Alright, um, this. Nope, just hack, just hack them. Oh, it. I wonder, well, that's an interesting thought. So the reason you can hack human targets, like, I thought it was because, like, everybody has some kind of mods in them, right? But it might just be because they're all, like, they're all kethered already. 
I mean, I don't know if that's something that this game has thought about so far. Gosh, I don't know what to do. I was secretly hoping uh, that Raycast was was Kether, like that was trying to like act human. I, I don't know. All right, um, submarine dock, which is not open yet. This new area over here, which hopefully contains Hammond's office. We'll see. Yeah, Hammond's office. It's as if I know where I'm going, which I assure you I do not. My, my, such tenacity. And what did we do to bring that out of you, I wonder? You really are surpassing every one of my expectations, I have to say. I do believe you might well be the one I am to recommend. I was thinking about more of being the one to take you down. There is much more you need to know, of course. It's natural you should be running riot with emotions just now. How can your rationale function properly without logical input? Silly me. Talk to me like a fucking person. Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, but listen. What you are witnessing here is something quite different to what you think you're witnessing. Different how? You hate me, but this is not about me. It is not about any of us here, not even the complex. This is about you and those you have spent years besides. It's about the living people the world over, all of us. Humanity is wrestling with the dawn of a new era, with cyberspace, communications, implants, like newborns struggling to stand. And for the first time in the history of time, nature will not help us walk. I can see the federal court now applauding your every word. We face a perfect problem. No, humanity no longer needs what nature can offer, what evolution can provide. We don't need an extra centimeter here, a plus three IQ advance there, and certainly not at the pace natural selection can offer it. Humanity now requires much, much more. Knowledge, pleasure, power, uh, immunity, longevity, dreams made real. Nature has brought humankind to this door, but it is now up to us, the technologists of the world, to open it, to lead our race forward to the next age, to take evolution into our own hands. Not one scientist, not I, not any here, cares a jot for him or herself for our lives, our name. Do you know how singular that is? Finally, all scientists the world over are united in a single cause to serve mankind in its next great age, to, to raise it by the hand up to its feet, to stand tall in the landscape of the future. Walk, run, jump, fly, be. <sighs> Is this speech going to take much longer? Kill me? <laughs> Nothing. And nothing will change. Kill all the scientists here. New ones will step into our place. We are not special. I bet you say that to all the clones. There is a woman. Our leader. Our unifier. The visionary behind all this. You will know her as the Crow. She has been spearheading this project for decades. First with the creation of Kether, knowledge. And then enhancing humanity's capacity to use that knowledge. The post-human. You. You are the first, the first to possess everything. Everything we were told to strive for, that she instructed me to look for. Don't you see what you're doing here? Methods? Uh, yes, yes. Now you have shown your humanity, we must begin to treat you as human. Nay, post-human. Ethics, rights, our next step. Things are changing, and you yourself are bringing about that change. Can... can you arrange for me to meet the Crow? That I can. The Crow charged me personally to seek out the one that is ready. The one that possesses independence, resilience, personality, reasoning, strength. The one we can at last call who. You are the one who should meet the crow. What What do you want from me? It's not what I want. I will arrange for you to meet the crow. She has plans. Great plans. 
for the one who proves herself. You. If you accept, I will arrange for you to be released back to Harbour Prime. From there, you'll receive instructions as to how to meet her. I must, however, ask you for one thing in return, as a show of good faith. Tell me who Raycast is. Are you serious? You really don't know? Why? Do you think I should? Look, whoever he is, he has mastered cyberspace like no other. And yet, even with his incessant activity, he evades all our efforts to track him down. You've been in touch with him. You must know how to find him. <laughs> what would you do with him? Isn't it obvious? He has caused no end of difficulties, setbacks, leagues, sending our subjects off to run riots, sabotaging our operations, revealing our secrets to goodness knows who. I don't know what his reasons are, but he must be stopped. What makes you think I would betray him? I worry that your value systems are a little too deterministic. Loyalty as blinkered as this leaves you open to manipulation. Do you not see? Raycast has no loyalty to you. You're just one of many he has made to feel special. The many he has led on his leash to war with us. You are the first not to have fallen. Yet. And if you do, when you do, do you think he'll mourn your passing? Think how little he really told you about anything. How little effort he put in to protecting your friends, protecting you. Your loyalty is misplaced. Okay, I saved before I came here, and the conversation engine in this game has been a little squicky. I want to tell him this, and then I want to kill him. We'll have to see. Subject zero? What? But that subject isn't even... Oh no, this is absurd. He's barely alive. I, su I suppose he... Well, it could be. It would explain a lot how Raycast knew so much about our internal communications. Our restricted cyberspace domains, how he evaded our trackers, how he evaded even our best cyber scouts. Oh my! And there was me saying you were blind. Oh, this is capital information, capital indeed. I'll make sure he is dealt with at once. Well, you've already proven how fruitful our cooperation can be. You made the right choice, as you yourself will come no. to see, I'm sure. Now, no. Go, take that submarine to Harbor Prime. No, 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 nope, definitely not. Nope, we're not doing that. I thought I just wanted to see what it was. I wanted to see if I could still, like, backstab him. I wanted to, like, I really wanted to tell him that that's who it was and then shoot him in the face. That would have been what I wanted so bad. Well, guess what? We're going to do this again. My, my, there is much more. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. There is a K, 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 I will arrange for you to be released back to Harbor Prime. From there, you'll receive instructions as to how to meet her. I must, however, ask you. Yeah, for you're going down. You fool! Here we go. Follow the program. I am very curious, actually. I want to inform you that our scenario development team have completed a set of memory narratives to generate political sympathy and plutocracy. Some interesting ideas have gone into the mix. Might we suggest Joseph, lead developer, show, go through what he's got? You'll be very pleased. Feel free to access our calendars and choose a time that suits. God, all these messages are just like Outlook calendar messages from the future. Um. I'm just trying to think here. Because, like... Recommend a type-specific batch of clones for release this fall. We're fast-tracking following Dalek Duran's breakthrough and advancement with the interior and cellular cortex last month. I'd like you to assemble a list of suitable live environments for trial. Of course, with these subjects enhanced empathy drivers, we're specifically looking to study how they respond to the suffering of others in all tiers of social relations. Perhaps a Detroit release set? Okay, that was weird. Ok, 
Farrell, just to update you, on the entertainment monitors given to the foster families, we've settled on a community applause prize draw in the end. Surveillance feeds from the monitors are being gathered with no issues whatsoever, and it's all working as planned. Our people are setting up a hub for you to access all family feeds whenever you choose. It should be ready in the next couple of days. As to your concerns regarding families being suspicious of the prizes, we've delivered non-surveillance prizes to other citizens in, as an obfuscation strategy. Search results show no sus sign of suspicion. Oh, that's cool. Like, I will give them credit. Look at that. Um, it's not very strong, but the, the black hole bends my shots a little bit. Noise. Bye, Hammond. I'm really curious. I'm going to have to... Here's what I'm going to... I already made my choice. So I'm going to save in not this save slot. I'm going to save in the other one. Because what I'm going to do is I am going to save that. And maybe if you guys want, I can go back and make an extra episode. However, we are running long on this one. So I think I'll make this a double length episode. Because we're so close to the end. I can't. I can't stop now. I can't. I can't stop now. I can't. I can't. In we get. Here is the mainframe. It's usually heavily protected, but I made sure you could access it easily. Thank you. So as much as I like Ian's plan, as much as I do, I think I'm leaning, of, currently I'm leaning to go with Raycast's plan. Because like, okay, now, I know he got Decker killed, but I have this thought, right? Both Decker and Tony, they absolutely love the guy, and all he's been doing for years, just, just years, is raising corporate hell. And not just, not just for this corporation, he's been all over the net, owning cyberspace pretty much every which direction. I really think that, like, someone who is that anarchistic and wants people to be in control probably has the right idea. And, like, as much as I know about Ian, like, and that he was, he was disappeared, I just don't think... I just don't think, um, like, scrambling the files is enough. They'll, they'll still all be there. Like, they'll still all exist. Wondering, can I level... Oh, I can't level up while I'm in cyberspace, so never mind. I love how it continues to give us money, even though it's probably not useful. Okay, so that did not help anything. Crud, 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 That's not killing them fast enough. There. Oof. That was a mess. Get out. Noise. Where are we going? I'm so lost. This looks good. This looks promising. But I don't know what that did. I don't know what any of this did. 
I don't know where I'm going. Okay, this is where I started, right? And then I opened up this by breaking the block that was right here, like right there. So then I went back up here and now, okay, here we go. Oh, oh no, yep, kill him. That is not a great way to handle that decision. Oh, buddy. It doesn't matter. Like, I, I really think I have to kill them because it will only kill the ones that are in the tubes here. It will not kill the ones already in the field because they don't have a way to do that. There's no mad. There's no way. And I can't save them because even if I scramble all of their locations, it's not enough. We're, we're going to have to do it. I'm sorry, everybody. That You know what? Sound off if you think my logic is deeply flawed. It may well be. But that's the decision I have to make. Like, humanity has to continue existing outside of the future. Like, even if there's an AI that can see everything you do on the internet, people out still exist outside of it. I just don't know. Now, where am I supposed to go? This game has such a weird uh, way of doing that. Like, back to Harbor Prime. Okay. I'm going to level up since I can. I don't really think it's necessary, but I might as well. Let's become a, a master hacker and a master ranged person. Fancy. I don't think I don't know if I made the right choice. Out of nothing. Something's raining down. A whole river. Man. This is rough. New quest, finish the fight. Check up on Tony, isn't... Yeah, okay. I suppose so. Do you guys want to take... Let's take a walk. One last time. You know, it's our last time. Let's take a walk. Man, I still don't feel super good about what we had to do. I'm not sure that it was the right thing to do. But I'm not sure if I know any other way. Man, I don't know. And I totally went the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, yep. That's super good. Because, yeah, if I go up here, yeah, this goes to Chinese Quarter. From there, I can go to Taijo and then to back alleys. Because we can't take the back way that we took before. I wonder if George is around. Georgeage. Nah, he's still off doing whatever he's doing. Hold it right there. This is an armor gear restricted. Stand down. Apologies, miss. We've been expecting you. You can rest at ease. First Lieutenant Buckner at your service. 
Is this some kind of joke? I understand your confusion, but I have specific orders to ensure your protection and safe transit to my client's residence. I'm told to extend you a Son of invitation. a bitch. Tell me when you're ready to depart, miss. Where's Tony? The fat nerd. He's safe, miss. I've instructed my men to handle any of your associates gently. Who's this client? The crow? Yes, miss. And if I say no, you're gonna rug me down and drag me there? My orders are to invite you and to escort you. Not to force you. When would we be, le we be leaving? Take your time, miss. I was made to understand you might still have friends to check up on. Errands to run. Feel free. When you're ready, you know where to find us. Alright, let's go. Roger that, miss. You heard the lady. Collapsing perimeter. Double time. Shuttle up on orange. We're out of here like yesterday. First exorbital, miss. Relax. Enjoy the ride. We are X orbital, heading 095 tangent, switching to manual approach. What in butt's name? What to do's? Who to be's? What in butt's name is going on? Welcome. Your arrival is most timely. Madam is expecting you. Now, if you would be so kind as to proceed through the door. One final trial, you understand. I've got to say, hiding in orbit, I didn't expect that. Oh, but there is nothing secretive about this space station. What you see here is the first long-term space residence. It was established by Madame herself. While much of the residence delivers commercial functions, Madame retains this wing as her private mansion. What better place from which to oversee her empire? What do you mean, trial? My days of jumping through hoops are over. Please bear in mind that even considering your recent feats, Madame must still determine whether you are suited to her requirements. Requirements for what? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to tell you more, but everything will be made clear once you enter the trial chamber. All right. I suppose this is it then. Wish me luck. Luck will play no part in what is to come. Great. Honestly, I thought this was going to be the end, but I don't think it is. I think there's more, there's more we don't understand yet. All right, guys. I'm going to take a break, but I'll be back with more right after this. So thanks for watching. This has been Cyberpunk TV. I'll see you next time.